Hey guys, Eve here, and today we're doing another Makeup Rewind series. I don't know if you could tell from my hair or from my choker. We are definitely heading into the 90s this time. Personally, I automatically think of Spice Girls and grunge. But the normal average everyday wearer of makeup would actually stick to a lot of neutral tones and a lot of browns. The whole brown trend and neutral trend kind of came up after the 80s when everything was like super colorful and crazy. I did do a video on the 80s. If you guys want to see that, go ahead and check out that clip. So it'll be right up here. To counteract the colorfulness of the 80s, people went a little bit more subdued, a little bit more brown. But if you guys want to see how I got this 90s inspired makeup look, go ahead and keep on watching. Let's go. Alright guys, so I already did my eyebrows and primed my eyes. And for my eyebrows, I went a little bit thinner than normal because in the 90s, over plucking and over waxing was definitely a trend. But to start off the eyes, I'm heading into the Modern Renaissance palette and I'm picking up the shade Warm Taupe. I originally thought that this was going to be my crease shade, my first blending shade, you know, the transition shade. However, it ended up being a little bit darker than what I wanted. But I put that all over my crease and my outer corners anyway. But instead, I went in with my Jaclyn Hill palette just to grab Silk Cream as a lighter transition shade. And I'm taking a fluffy brush and I'm putting that in the crease as well, but blending it up towards my eyebrow. And I'm blending it in the outer corner out towards my temples. And once we reach desired pigmentation, I'm going back in to Warm Taupe. Putting that a little bit lower on my crease and also on my outer corners, blending it towards the pupil of my eyes. This way we have more of an obvious gradient going on. And then I'm going to do a little bit of reverse blending again with some silk cream, just going over the edges of warm taupe. And then to deepen up the eyes even more, I'm grabbing the shade Cypress Umber from the Modern Renaissance palette on a smaller blending brush, putting that into the outer corners of the eyes, blending it in towards the pupils. And then once again, going over the edges with Silk Cream. Then for the lid shade, I wanted to grab a bone color, so I'm picking up the shade Tempera from the Modern Renaissance palette on a flat brush. This is actually my brush from the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. Then I'm just going to put this shade onto the inner corners of my lids, kind of carving out a crease, and then flipping it around to the other side and blending out the edges. To darken up the lash line, I'm going back in the Cypress Umber with an angled brush, just going over the line and smoking it upwards into the rest of my shadow. And then I want to go ahead and finish off my base. I want to keep it nice and light because in the 90s there was a lot of tinted moisturizer, not a lot of full coverage babes. But I did go ahead and use a normal foundation. I used my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Porcelain. And then I'm going to smoke out my lower lash line. So I'm just taking a pencil brush with Silk Cream and just blending it all out. And then sticking with the idea of browns and neutrals, I really want to use a lot of bronzer. So I'm grabbing my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, putting that on the contours of my cheeks, and I'm actually dragging it pretty high up onto the cheekbones, almost like a blush. Putting it around my temples and the tops of my forehead and on my chin. And while I'm here, I did want to go ahead and contour my nose. Nose contouring wasn't exactly a trend, but I like to do it, so that's why I'm doing it here. I'm experimenting with a new type of nose contour, so please forgive me if it looks weird at all. <laughs> and then for blush, I'm grabbing my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in the shade Mood Exposure. It's kind of a mauve toned blush. Just putting that lightly onto the apples of my cheeks, blending it into the bronzer. And then I want to take a Kabuki brush and blend those two together. And then grabbing my Real Techniques Complexion Sponge. Just carving out underneath my cheeks with some RCMA No Color Powder. And then for highlight, I'm grabbing my Physician's Formula Mineral Glow Pearls in the shade Translucent Pearls. It does have a little bit of a color. It's definitely for fair skin. But I'm putting that on the tops of my cheekbones, on my nose, on my brow bone, my inner corner, my cupid's bow, anywhere where I would normally highlight. This isn't a super strong highlight, which is why it's perfect for this 90s tutorial because 
having a pearlescent sheen on the skin was a trend, but the idea of blinding highlights wasn't really a trend until the late 2000s. Then brushing away that fake and spraying my face with some NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray to set everything. And then I like to pat in my highlighting spots with my sponge just to make it stand out a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes before heading into my NYX Double Stack Lash Mascara. I do not use the fiber parts, I just use the black mascara. Putting that on my upper lashes and my lower lashes today. We're actually going to skip the falsies and this mascara is really good for thickening and lengthening my eyelashes. And then to set my brows, I'm grabbing my favorite drugstore brow gel, the Pixie Clear Brow Gel. And then finally, we're gonna work on the lips. So this is a nameless Sephora lip liner. It's not cruelty free, I'm just trying to use it up. But I'm lining my lips with it and then blending it in towards the center of my lips just to darken up the edges. Because that was a trend of the 90s, a la Pamela Anderson. And then to finish off my lips, I'm grabbing my Tardiest Lip Paint in the shade Birthday Suit. A nice pinky brown neutral shade. Alright guys, so this is the entire look thrown together. If you guys like the Makeup Rewind series and want me to keep making them, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what decade you want to see next. Go ahead and check out my Twitter. I post polls there monthly to decide what decade to do next. We only got a few left. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That way you can keep up with what I'm doing and the makeup looks that I come up with and all that jazz. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.